So I've noticed an abuse of logic here where in some disagreement about religion, uh, an attempt is made to point out the fact that it seems that our collision of logic is manifesting the animals that are scaring us and separating us from one another. And um, the idea is first presented as these are our thoughts. We're, 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 all, we're our thoughts as well as we are matter and all that stuff and all that. And, all. and um, somebody's asked why they keep lying. Uh, but it's not that they're lying. It's that they're misunderstanding uh, this obvious process of turning what you want into reality around you. And they try a bunch of methods, and it's explained that um, in a short opportunity to explain that's not really being given for understanding, but rather to eliminate, the person says, so even when they're lying, they're just trying to make what they want real as best and as fast as possible right away. And they think that if they just keep it on their mind for a long time, it'll start to materialize around them. I said too much there. That was not enough time they were given. It's interpreted by the people that just want to see opposers to their religion eliminated um, as, uh, that's what y'all said, just keep lying, just keep lying. And this is used as a strategic stage to justify lying to eliminate these guys, stage these guys, and get rid of them uh, with false or engineered stories. Um, the whole argument is, even now I, I sit here and I'm dealing with one of these flies. And these flies appear, one of the flies appear to have, have taken a, a stand uh, in which they are representing every single logical disagreement that we are having with one another, specifically because I'm close interacting with it, my, my logical, every illogical disagreement that I have with everyone around me. And so the fact that it lines up that closely means that it's literally just us colliding with each other logically as we try to exist. And it's stopping us. So I did it right. You guys were holding it too hard, and it started to turn into something that I kind of got pulled away from. Um, and I kept investigating it, and as I did, it became more obvious what could be going on. Oh, nope, the memory's getting back. Someone's gonna hold it now because they're mad that I'm doing this. That's what's happening. Someone's mad that I'm doing this, so now they're gonna hold that. That's what this is. That's why we're all getting threatened. It's not an animal, it's the accusation that I talk too much. It's... That's me getting uh, slapped around by somebody who doesn't care what I have to say. And so yeah, as we reach a point in which we can align with each other enough that there are no disagreements, you guys understand my role, my function, and know that I'm not just a predator or See, that right there, that right there is so annoying, bro, because you, you made me say just on purpose. You won't let this go. So, uh, these things will stop occurring to separate us. Um, they're saying that I'm the one that needs to let it go. If I would have killed it there, uh, it, it aligned with me too much and was technically not doing anything wrong that I would have surely died. Um, and you guys not being willing to kill it is a sign for me. So, as you guys increase the, the disagreement now, unwilling to sort of alter your positions, um, there seems to be history of an argument where somebody says, it's just the way I am, I can't change. I'm not that guy, I didn't say that. I didn't say that, okay? And, and so this is somewhere along my family line. But these, oh, these are so lame, bro. Somewhere along my family line, somebody argued. Um, no, nah, this is just a story that seems to this story, this story also dead ends. It's the same thing.
Uh, I just got stalled here. So a story was just created from a distance of collisional logic um, where... Oh, you're getting me to say that now fast? I don't know how to say that now fast. You're purposely holding me back so that I say the wrong parts and get killed. Uh, I'm pretty much being told but unable to do anything about stuff that's supposedly happening from a distance. But once again, the fact that it has to hide from me means that it, either it's not supposed to be happening or it isn't and I'm being led into saying it for crazy accusation. So I, some people have just been told they need to do, just do what they're told. I'm, I think I'm separate from this group. I have somebody who's disagreeing with that. Uh, but the reasons for it, they don't explain. What they do instead is they use short, uh, non-descriptive justifications uh, to... They trap me here in, in using words. Like, they trap me here in, in not being able to say justi justify uh, because I repeated myself. This argument, I need to see the logical disagreement of. I need to see the collision for it. Um, So, I think I just got distracted. Oh, you were seeing what I would look like when I was, uh, when I was like at that uh, face level of like not seeing, not seeing what's being said, just seeing what's happening. Um, I think I, I don't, I don't know. I think I might. Oh, I think that's what my face eventually becomes, doesn't it? I mean, you're you, even if you look good right now, if you're not doing what you're saying, you become what you're doing, so that people can know it, and you don't have a choice over that. So these guys, I think they intend the because they don't want to change the arguments they're using uh, for temporary position control, uh, are going to push me as close to these animal stops or whatever they are, uh, as hard as they can until I die or have to take, and then they can justify saying, based on what you were saying, you're no different than that animal, and kill me. And at that point, it would just end life. It would just be like it, it would just it would just start the it would start the change that is, um, no, y'all knew he was right. And, and then I think I would get separated from you guys, uh, but I can't take it. I can't like, I can't kill it. I have to, I have to constantly prove that everything deserves to survive, um, even when it's not being allowed to. People bring, someone brings up pedophilia here. I'm not defending pedophilia. That. The argument here is that by saying it, I put the thoughts in their minds and they don't know how to disprove it. I can disprove it by the... Ouch. Okay, so... Okay, someone's making it very clear that they don't want me to listen to what the people around me are saying anymore. 